Okay, so looking at 4 minus 3 times a number is less than 25. Do we have to distribute here? No. no. Do we have any like terms to combine on either side? So we are jumping down to this step, step 5, and we are going to rewrite our inequality here. 4 minus 3x is less than 25. This says 2. Eliminate, meaning zero out. What gets zeroed out here? The four. I get negative three X is less than 21. I am gonna cancel the coefficient. Negative three X is less than 21. What am I gonna do to cancel the coefficient? By what kind of three? three? What does that mean is happening to our symbol? The it is going to go from less than to greater than. greater than. Negative three divided by negative three gives us that positive invisible one, leaving us with x. 21 divided by negative three gives us negative seven. What number should we sub in to test this time? It is greater than negative seven, so my favorite number to sub in if possible is possible. So let's do four minus three times zero is less than 25. We are subbing in zero. That becomes four is less than 25. Is that a true inequality? That means that we have solved this correctly and we can graph it. Doing a quick below, uh, zoom in snapshot of our number line. I've got the negative seven on there. I circle it, do I fill it in? And the arrow goes to the And with that, we are going to be done for today. I think we should take our last few minutes because we've got about seven to get this glued into our notebooks. And I wasn't sure if we'd get there, so I didn't have you get glue. But we've got seven minutes. We can make this happen. Here is where I want you to put it. We are going to skip the back page and put it on the page on the right side. So when we're flipping through this, the golden rule of inequalities was our last thing. Turn the page and leave the back of that blank and we are going to glue it in right here.